hey what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to talk about the possibility of one piece fighting path coming to global there's a few informations going around and it does feel like there's a high chance it would be coming to global so let's look into that information and see what's going on so let's talk about one piece fighting path's success in china 2 million downloads as of april 2021 and revenue of up about 10 million and that's the first month of april how awesome is that and we got more months to come and it's going to be more successful so the game is actually top number one in the app store really good and there could be other third party vendors that's actually um, hosting the game as well and we don't know the information about those but i'm i'm pretty sure it's number one there as well so overall this game is very successful in china and when a game is successful there is a likely indication that this game is coming to the western platform we have the same situation with my my hero academia strongest hero very popular game in china and now it's coming to the global release and yeah i hope it gets the same treatment as one piece fighting path so let's talk about one piece fighting paths publishers and game developers so cmge is the game developer for this game a china china based developer nothing too special there but the important thing to know is the relationship between bite dance as you guys know bite dance is the creator of tiktok and there is a link between tiktok and and, and one piece fighting path another evidence that a, a global connection is there right there and another thing to point out is newverse newverse is the gaming publishing company for this game it is under control of ByteDance, and they are stating that they are a global based publisher so if you look at their website this is their website and it says right here that it's a publishing company for players and developers around the world an indication that this is a global based company and if you look down there's one piece fighting path also take note that the title is different it's called one piece blood routes very very interesting and if you look into the game itself there's an english text explaining what the game is and yeah it's 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 interesting that fighting path is not here instead instead it says blood routes so is this the title that's going to come to global when it releases or is going to be fighting path to be honest i'm not really sure where fighting path comes from um it's it's just popped up the first when when the first game when the game first released as a beta uh, a year ago it was called the bloodline and now it changed to fighting path so I'm not really sure where these terms are coming from, but from the official site of Newverse, it's called Blood Routes. So I have a feeling that this game is going to be renamed for the global version called as Blood Routes. So something to point out. So let's talk about a job opportunity from ByteDance. Shout out to DNWP, our Discord mod, for leaking this. Join our Discord community for information about fighting path so let's go into what the specifics are for this game so it says in-game assets including text graphics audio and video so game localization probably means that changing all these components into english very very interesting and it specifically says mobile games so i'm I think it's talking about One Piece Fighting Path. I hope so. That would be so good. This means that after the game release, they're actually posting um, like localization specialist type of jobs after the game's release. So I have a feeling they're in a development process for the global release. And if they are, that would be awesome. So we could say that with all these information right now we have so far, I would say we could expect the global release within six months or less 
I'm comparing this to how My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, since it's getting a global release and it's coming out this spring around May or June. So if if One Piece Fighting Pet gets the same treatment, that would be great. Because I'm actually really tired of the Chinese text and not understanding a few things here and there. And it just just lacks that overall experience that we should be able to get from this whole game. And I'm hopeful that this game will get a global release. Okay, let's talk about the impact, how One Piece Fire Path, if, if it comes to global, and how would it change the market, you know? Right now, we have Bandai Namco dominating the Western platform with its acquiring high hyped anime titles such as Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and Naruto. And they make pretty pretty much a lot of games behind those uh, famous IPs such as Dragon Ball Legends and Bounty Rush, right? But how would it change if this game comes to global, right? If we compare this game to Bounty Rush, right? And don't get me wrong, Bounty Rush is a very good game. I like it. I love the capture the flag type of game mode. I love the characters, the design, and the artwork. It's really good. But that's it. You know? That's it. That's 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 the only thing that OPBR is offering. There is no story mode, there's no other type of content that that we want to immerse ourselves in in the One Piece world. And that's all that OPBR has to offer. But let's compare this to Fighting Path. Bro, Fighting Path as an actual story has so many different game modes, has different treasure quests and, sh and stuff like that. You you feel more immersed into the game, and there's like an open world type of thing, you know. This game is more has more content, and you could have more fun playing this game than OPBR, in my opinion. And so this is a very developed game, and it would actually change a lot of things when it comes to global. We have My Hero Academia Strongest Heroes coming, and that is actually a very, very successful game. And I want to see how, like, games from China that's being developed could change how we see, like, these anime type of style games that comes to global. Because right now, oh, it's just Bandai, and Bandai is just... I playing their games I feel like most of the games are underdeveloped you know and they just take advantage of those hyped up IPs to get the money that's in in my opinion that's pretty much it so I have a feeling that if this game comes to global it will be a huge success I guarantee it so thank you guys for watching hope to see you guys in the next video bye